Shawan. Call Hulani Lai Haba Shemiel Shabba Shemra Kakwadash. Double Nine Studios and the Apostles. The Great Most Known with Well Shawan's and 144,000. One third running man with a children of the whole Shawan. Shawan. There's the brother Kabar Yash coming back at you with another quick lesson. All right, through spirit and power, you hop out, you know, praise, let's be able to find straight to the point. All right, and I watched this video today. This is, uh, was put up by the GMS Awakening 144, the brother, uh, Amawan Kabar. All right, and how in this video, before in this clip, he showed what is eat, he's Edomites, man. You know, they riding around, okay, in this, uh, you know. And his armored truck, man. Okay. I can't really play the video because, you know, due to the sound. Um, all right. I just might play it. I'll just describe what it's telling me. I'm just going to show you what what this person's saying. All right. And look at the armored truck. There's about well, like three or four Edomites, mics, man. All right, riding around in an armor truck, man, with a gun scrapped to it, man. About, about a couple of guns scrapped to it, okay. That shit gonna be used for you two third Israelites, man, okay. And he said, "These are his new homeboys. <laughs> These either mice ain't your homeboys, man." <laughs> you gonna be saying that when all hell breaks loose when these Edomites come down with great rap, man? Not just the elites gonna be coming down with great rap. All right, these low level Edomites gonna also be putting hands on you two third Israelites too, man. And this is the sword of the Lord right here, man. All right, not just the global elites, man. All right, these also gonna be used. All right, these Edomites gonna be used. What spirits created for vengeance against you, Jakes, man? So, <laughs> when he's talking about, hey, these my new buddies, man. Psh, well, you Jakes, man. You Jakes have no fucking clue what's coming, man. Y'all don't have no clue what's coming. No clue at all whatsoever. Just clueless, mindless, and dumb. All right? And, hey, here us brothers out here on the highways and byways, week in and week out, man. Men and Lord risking their lives and freedom to try to warn you. That hey, that Esau Edom is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And hey, this man, <coughs> man, these devils are going to be used to, hey, what? Execute vengeance upon you two-thirds Israelites, man, for all your wickedness. Not, hey, look, two-thirds of your Israelites are about to be cut off on this side and die, man. For your ignorance, okay? Because y'all don't realize who the enemy is. Y'all thinking, oh, these are my buddies, man. These are our new guys, man. All right? Now, he did say in the video, if Jace was rolling around in something like this, it would be under the prison. He's right. So what that tells you, this is Esau's kingdom. He can do this. He can ride around in uh, armor trust just like this because why? This is his kingdom. Joel 9.24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Jay can't do this. You Israelites can't do this. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Y'all can't ride around and stuff like this. Hell no. Man, please. A whole squad team will be out there. The ponies, everybody. <laughs> Shit. You name it. So, yeah, you right about that, man. But, hey, this is going to be used towards you Israelites, man. These are going to be Edomites. Just like in the... Uh, was that the the uh the movie The First Purge, I believe? Yeah, the first purge, man. Okay. Just like in the movie The First Purge. What did they do? They sent in uh mercenaries. They sent in militia groups. Alright, because it you know, people wasn't, you know, Persian enough. So what what did these uh devils do, man? Alright? They sent in what they sent in Asian provocateurs, they sent in militia groups to hey to come down on you just that's going to happen in real time, man. Okay? So I'm not going to play any more of the video. I'll put this uh video, brother's video in the uh description box. Okay? So I'm just doing a land back lesson on this. But hey, man. <laughs> that sword is being sharpened and is being furbished. Let's get that scripture. Ezekiel 21 and verse 9. Straight to the point. 
The book of Ezekiel chapter 21 and verse 9. Son of man, prophesy and say, thus said the Lord, how about she out shot? Say, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. This, look, Esau is about to use his sword, man. Okay? He was blessed with the sword, man. Pertaining to Genesis chapter uh, 27 and verse 40. And it says, by thy sword thou shalt live. So, hey. This devil is about to calm down with great wrath because he knows that he have a short time. Not just the elites, but these low-level Edomites too because they also can feel that their kingdom is slipping away, man. They know that their time is up. They know that they got to pay for all the crimes that they've done against Jacob, man. The 12 tribes of Israel is you Israelites, man. Okay? They know they got to pay. So what they're doing, they're getting more angry. They're getting more pissed off. <laughs> hey. It is what it is, though. But hey, when you come up against the Lord's men, the Lord's elect, man, that shit gonna be crushed. Just like in the movie uh, Watchmen. The Watchmen, all right? All right, Miss, what's that uh, superhero character's name? I think it's Dr. Manhattan, all right? Where he, you know, he stretched his hand out in that arm and he balled his hand up in that damn thing, turned into a ball. Man, the man, the Lord gonna crush that shit, man. So hey, <laughs> yeah, you, look. You try that, hey, Lori, how about she is going to allow you Edomites to get two thirds? But once you come up on the elect men, come up on the whole for elect, that's game over with you for you devils, man. That shit going to be turned into, <coughs> into junk. Okay, let's finish reading this. Verse 10, it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Should we be in a mirth state? Should we be in a rejoice state? Which should be bar should we be partying and bullshitting? No. This is not the time for that, man. All hell is getting ready to break loose. And plus today, all right, I saw on the news, all right, where now Trump has been taken off of the uh the Colorado ballot, all right? And hey, it looks like that's going to spread. And if that happens, shit. <laughs> All hell is about to break loose in this place, man. 2024 is going to be a... It's going to be a, a, a year, man, of chaos and destruction, man. But it's, all gonna, but it's also going to be a great year, man. Lord willing, we be delivered, man. Miracles, etc. Okay? <clears throat> it contented the rod of my son as every tree. Verse 11. And he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Esau, even so-called white man. Verse 12. Crying how, son of man. For it shall be upon my people. You Israelites, man. Basically two-thirds. And those that know that they're Israelites, man, they're not warning the sheep, man. Not warning about Jacob's trouble. Okay? It had like it shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon thy thigh. Okay? So great judgment is about to come. Okay? Hey, we warning you Israelites, man. Spirits are created for vengeance. The glory how about Shinyal Shah is about to turn these Edomites up to go crazy. Okay? Saraka Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Slocky. Hold on, let me do this. Uh yeah, let me do that. Let me put do not disturb. Slocky. Let me read this again. Sirach 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fear and lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. The glory how about she all shines behind these spirits created for vengeance, man. Okay? Like it tells you in Isaiah 45, and verse 7. I form the light, create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. So, so the glory how about she all shines behind all this stuff, man, that's coming upon the earth. Okay? Verse 29. Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Verse 30. The teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Yeah. Two thirds. All right. Two thirds of walking blindly to the destruction, man. And not paying attention. <laughs> he's all gonna use it on you jakes man okay two-thirds y'all through man 
Verse 31, they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word, man. So, hey, these death angels are about to get busy out here, man. Let's go here. Psalm 17 and verse 13. Arise, O Lord, you how about Shemiah and Shai? Disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Yeah. Esau Edom is the left hand side of the Lord. You how about Shemiah and Shai, man? And hey, that left hand side is about to be released upon two thirds. Okay? Two thirds of you wicked ass Israelites, man, that don't want to repent. They want to continue to scoff and mock at the men of the Lord, man. <laughs> okay? And I saw a lesson that uh the uh the elder Manatzabba did say, man. Well, he said, "Go and live your life until you be destroyed." Exactly. If you don't believe in his word, hey, continue to live your life in the world, man, until your ass get destroyed, man. Okay? We don't care. All right. At this point, we don't care anymore, man. Okay? Because hey, we already know two thirds are destined to die anyway. Okay? And there's nothing we can do about that. Hey, I'm, I'm not trying to do nothing about this. So, hey, we tell you this gospel, like it says, whether you are here or whether you forbear, you're going to know that there was a true prophet among you. You're going to be like, man, your men who staring out there, man, they told us that this damn devil, man, this, this damn so-called white man was the devil, man, and we ain't listening to those guys, man. Yeah. Y'all going to be saying that, man. You jakes that don't want to believe that the so-called white man is the devil, Esau eat him. You gonna find out, man. All right. Like they say, you fucking around, you gonna find out. <laughs> and you jakes don't fucked around, man. And you're about to find out. Point blank, period, man. Zechariah chapter thirteen, verse eight. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, how about Shion Shai? Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two thirds of you wicked Israelites about to be cut off and down this side, man. And you're gonna have to be born back in the kingdom of heaven. Through the laws of the elect. A nutsack Israelite, man. <laughs> but the third shall be left there in. Only the one third remnant. The hundred and forty four thousand and the one third remnant, men, women, children of the whole elect, is gonna be saved. Okay? Verse 9, and I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, the true heavenly father and his only begotten son. We ain't going to be calling up on no other name like JC and Buddha and Allah and all these other gods, man. No, we're going to, hey, the elect is going to be calling on the true names of the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, okay? And I will hear them. And I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord and how about Shion Shai is my power. Okay? Two-thirds about to get ready to meet that sword, man. So, hey. You've been warned. Okay? Amos 9 and verse 8. The eyes, it's like, behold, the eyes of the Lord and how about Shion Shai power are upon the sinful kingdom. Let's go twofold. Upon the eyes of the Lord and how about Shion Shai, the sinful kingdom. It's talking about America, Babylon, the Great, but you can also apply this to two-thirds, man. And I will destroy it from off of the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord Yahweh Shai, because the Lord Yahweh Shai is not the remnant. Only the remnant is going to be saved. Verse 9, For lo, I will command and I will set the house of Israel from among all nations, because we were scattered amongst all nations, man. So you're going to have Israelites that are going to come looking like the heathens, man. But they have the spirit of an Israelite, man. Point blank, period. Scattered amongst the heathen that look like the heathens. Okay? Like as corn is sitting in the seas, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Verse 10, the point. All the sinners of my people, you Israelites, shall die by the sword, would say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Okay? So, hey, that sword is being ready and furbished for you two-third Israelites, man. Let's go to Zechariah 10, and I think it's verse 5. Yep, right here. Uh, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 5. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. All right, you can apply this today, man. To modern day, these Edomites, man. Okay, verse 6. I will send him against an hypocritical nation. That's two-thirds of you Israelites, man. And against the people of my wrath, 
will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets. <laughs> yeah, two thirds of the Israelites about to be trodden down like the mire of the streets, man. When all hell breaks loose, okay? The Lord Yahweh is not playing. He's not playing. Ezekiel 9 verse 4. And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of. Who are the men that are signed and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst of? Men the Lord are, man. The men that go out to the highways and byways. Do these daily sit-down epistles, man. Okay? Verse 5. And by the way, that mark is the Hebrew word for why, which means an exemption from judgment. And Lord willing, we want to be exempt from judgment. Okay? Verse 5. And to the others that don't have that mark of the why, the exemption from judgment, he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Yeah. Verse 6, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. It says women twice. Because, hey, yeah, the men going to get it out here bad, but you women are going to get it just as worse, man. And children, okay? It is not going to be a good time for you women to be out here, man. Shaking your ass, twerking, and wearing all these provocative clothes and shit. Psh, man, please. <laughs> And a lot of you women, man, especially you Israelite like women, are going to be traded as commodity, man. It's not going to be a good time for you women to be out here, bro. I'm telling you. Shit is about to get real, real horrible out here. Watch the movie The Road. All right? Watch the movie The Purge. Watch those Purge movies, man. Book of Eli. Et cetera. Oh, watch the, uh, this previous movie that just came out. Leave the World Behind. Okay? Then they got another one coming out next year in 2024. The, uh, it's called Civil War. Yeah. All the, look, man, come on. Why do you think Esau is releasing all these movies, man? He's releasing all these movies because he's telling you what's coming. It's predicted programming. Okay? Let's read, Sinaki, let's read Ezekiel 9 verse 6 again. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. It's also going like it's let's just, let's, let's just get it. Let's just get it. I won't butcher it. First <clears throat> excuse me. First Peter four seventeen. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? Yeah. Judgment's going to start at those that know they're Israelites, man. And they're not teaching the correct doctrine. Telling you that the name don't matter. Not talking about the MOTB, man. Telling you what the MOTB is, man. Alright? Telling you that the MOTB is something else besides what the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone been saying. Not warning you about Jacob's trouble. Not warning you about World War III. Etc. Okay? Verse 18, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? The righteous is scarcely is going to be saved. Okay? So the time of bullshitting is coming to an end. Jeremiah 30 and 7, alas, for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Only the elect is going to be saved out of these times, man. Okay? Only the elect. Um, let's see. Let's get another one. Let's get another one. So like I say, the time of partying and bullshitting and all that shit has come to an end. 2024 ain't going to be no year of partying and bullshitting for your Israelites, man. It's going to be a time of trouble. And Esau's ready. <laughs> the question is, are you Jake's ready? No, y'all not. Because y'all too busy thinking about the, uh, this holiday. What's this holiday? Christmas. All right. Then New Year's. So-called New Year's, which is not the real New Year. All right. With your plans, your revolution, resolutions, whatever. All right. <laughs> y'all thinking about 
money, how much money I'm going to make next year, and blah, blah, blah. Man, all that shit ain't going to matter, man. All that shit is not going to fucking matter pretty soon. None of it. Okay? Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Only the elect is going to survive these times, man. You two thirds don't stand this chance against this devil. Y'all going to try. But hey, the more you have about Shia Shah is going to use these devils to come down upon you. Okay, and as a matter of fact, let's get that scripture. Revelation 12, 12, this scripture gets in. Man, this scripture comes out every time I do a lesson. But why? Because it's that time, man. Okay, that's just, a, that's just what it is. We're in that time. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time these devils can feel it in their spirit that that kingdom has come to an end so what they gonna do they're gonna take it out on you israelites man yeah not just the global elites but these low level uh joe blow six pack eater mice too yeah that's why they driving around in that armored truck with that gun scrap <laughs> all right because they know their kingdom is coming to an end that shit's gonna be used on you jakes man I'm just here to warn you, okay? Many brothers are too. But you just ain't gonna listen to us, man. Y'all ain't gonna listen. You ain't listening to the prophets now, okay? As a matter of fact, let me get another scripture. Um, Ezekiel 33 and the last verse. Ezekiel 33. Huh, sloppy. Yeah. Ezekiel 33 and verse 33. And when this coming to pass, go it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. You about to realize, hey, you Israelites about to realize that a true prophet was among you, man. Those men you saw out there on the highways and byways preaching week in and week out, man. You're going to be looking for those men. Them same men. Y'all say, oh, those guys wearing dress, man. Them guys don't know what they're talking about, man. Yeah. You're going to be looking for them men. But the man of the Lord are going to be silenced. So, hey, let me get that scripture. Amos 5 and 13. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silent in that time, for it is an evil time. You think men and the Lord are going to be out there on the highways and byways telling you that Esau even was the devil? If you didn't want to listen to us then, what makes you think you're going to want to listen to us when you don't see us out there on the highways and byways no more, man? It's going to be too late. Y'all going to be looking for the men of the Lord. You ain't going to find us, man. Hey, and we gonna have the hey, we gonna get the last laugh too, man. We're gonna be like, hey, we told you. We told you Esau even was the devil. But y'all didn't want to listen. <laughs> okay. So hey. Get this word while you can. And as a matter of fact, let me get close out with this scripture. You Israelites, man, it's a high time to wake out of sleep, for now it's our salvation nearer than when we believe. Okay? All hell is about to get ready to break loose. Okay? <clears throat> Soraka, Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 10. Snock. Yeah, 7. Snocky. <laughs> Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 7. Yeah, tongue twisted. Snocky. Make no terror and turn to the Lord in Yahabashin Yahshai. Put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord in Yahabashin Yahshai come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. Don't look. Time is running out. The doors of mercy is closing. Don't wait until it's too late. Isaiah 55 verse 6 says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Evil days are upon us. Let's close it out with the scripture. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly. Circumspect means to look about. Look around your surroundings. Observe. Pay attention. Okay, like it tells you, ooh, I got to get that scripture. I'm going to come back. What does it say? 
Ooh, let's get this scripture out. Just like this Jake wasn't even paying attention. He thinking, oh, that's cool, man. Them guys got guns on they, on they trucks and shit. No, man, that ain't fucking cool, man. Come on. You can't see what's going on? <laughs> Proverbs 22 and verse 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. That's two thirds of you wicked Israelites, man. You're simple. Just looking and just passing on and just going about your, just going about your life. la di da di da di da and what's going to happen? Y'all ass going to be punished, man. The prudent, the only the prudent, which is the elect, is seeing the evil. We see that these devils are about to do something, man. And we hiding ourselves. What are we doing? And let's, let's show how we hiding ourselves, okay? Proverbs 18.10. The name of the Lord, how about Shion Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So, hey. We're trusting in the Lord and how about me out shy. Okay? Thursday, y'all, y'all trusting in money, thinking money's gonna save you, thinking your wealth is gonna save you. None of that shit ain't gonna save your ass, man. They're about to do away with money. The cash. Okay? He feeds back to Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you are circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Verse 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil. We're in some evil days, man. Okay? Verse 17. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord and how about Shion Shai is. And we understand what the will of the Lord and how about Shion Shai is, man. To bring this wicked ass kingdom down. Take Esau, Edom out of power. Establish the righteous kingdom. These devils, these Edomites, they as the going in captivity along with the heathens, man. Okay? And the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up. That's going to be ruled by Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12 apostles, and the 144,000 governing kings and rulers and priests. Forever and ever and ever and ever. Okay? So, anything else? Nope, that's pretty much it, man. I'm going to end it here, man. Praise and was edifying. All praises and glorification go to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, Shabbat Shalom, Kwam Yashurama. Why Baba Ball? Show on.